Hi guys. So I finally saw the oral surgeon. He's the guy I originally saw. So the news isn't very pleasant. So what happened was definitely the dentist punctured my sinus. That's why I've been suffering. I have a very bad, they call it chronic, or I don't know, I think chronic sinus infection, which basically is happening because the sinus was punctured. I should have been to see a oral surgeon a lot sooner, but I tried, no one would see me. So anyhow, I'm having a very bad day today, as you can tell. So anyhow, what has to happen is I have to finish the, the Cipro. Then I need a, a CT scan. They did a, what's that test, that x-ray that you stand there goes around? I can't think of it right now, Panorex? So anyhow, so I gotta finish the antibiotic, then he wants me to start on a steroid, which is something I cannot stand the thought of it because it makes you have palpitations, which palpitations to me, I, I'm just like, gives me major anxiety. But he says he can't do, it's called a sinus lift, unless it's cleared up, and the only thing that will clear it up is steroid. So, I have, uh, it's a long story short, but I have a steroid nose spray from the ENT and long story short. Someone brought me to get it, left in their car, they went down south for the summer, so hopefully they'll write me another one and I'll use that, maybe that will clear it. So luckily I asked the ENT for a CT, I got it, so I already have one, Polly. I already have one scheduled. So he's not going to give me the oral, the oral um, steroid until after they see it. But he did say he has to see if it's in the ethnoid sinus, which I'm wondering if that's true, which I think it is because it hurts here all the way down. This is your maxillary sinus, this is your ethnoid, your sphenoid, and all this other stuff that I would know if I wasn't feeling this sick. So I'm afraid if it's also in your ethnoid sinus, that it might be turned over to ENT. I would much rather have this oral surgeon I've been to before. I like him, and plus it won't be in an operating room. It's the oral, I mean, the ENT will be in the operating room four hours under general. I don't think my health is good enough to even do that, but I'm not gonna get well. So I said, why am I taking the antibiotics? He says, to clear up the infection. I don't think it's working. So, it's not going to be fun because, I don't know, can anyone comment below if you've ever taken steroids? He says he thinks it's like the first day you take six, like two, two, and two. Next day, four. Then two, then one, I guess. I don't know. I, I, I hate when I feel palpitations. I don't know. So anyhow, you got to wait till next week. I did say, can we get me on the books already because it's hard to get it with him. So now I'm thinking that's what it means if the ethnoid sinuses are involved that he's not going to be able to do it. I'm going to have to go to the ENT, which turns into a whole big procedure, which I don't know how they're going to do it. It's not like they're going to let Polly in the operating room. I have to beg his father to watch it while I have my CT scan, and he's giving me a parameter of time. I mean... I can't tell these people that I just move everyone out of the way and let me go first. So anyhow, I'm feeling horrible, horrible, horrible. It's just worse and worse and worse and worse. The pain is unbearable. I can't even believe it. So you can continue your prayers. Pray that it's only my maxillary sinus that's involved, but I got a feeling because it's been going on so long. And shame on that other oral surgeon who I went to see who said he'd help me. Then he calls my dentist and they tell him, no, he can't. And why would he listen to them and not me? This was already over a month ago, I believe. It could have been done. Oh. I, I just, I'm too sick to be bad. It hurts. It hurts so bad. It is so bad. It's just worse. Everything's worse. So. When I was in the oral surgeon's office, he plugged my nose, made me blow. They did it again. So what he was doing, I knew what he was doing. 
because when you plug your nose, then you see when you blow, it comes out here, which it did, obviously. I told him I haven't for the last couple days. I haven't felt that gush of coming out. So I thought that was a good sign. No, it doesn't matter because it's all blocked up. So that's that communication thing that I think I explained to you guys. I don't know if I did. Nobody explained it to me. I literally asked him, but what I figured it means is your sinuses should not communicate with your mouth. So when a dentist punctures a hole, it looks like there's a deer over there. Um, it's all I need a deer to run into the car. We're sitting in a parking lot. So when you get a tooth pulled, like I said, if you get upper tooth pulled, wisdom teeth, go to an oral surgeon. Do not let a dentist do it. So when they puncture the hole, that causes an opening where you can get an infection. I did not have a cold. I did not have allergies. I had nothing. So it, it, it came from this, this damage they did. I got an infection that doesn't clear, which is making me think it's farther up. And I just hope this guy can do it because I really have a lot of faith in him. So I'm sorry. I look really bad. I feel really bad, but that is that is my update and I have another update I want to give on the person I asked you guys to pray for they did a, a video so I wanted it was very it's an important thing that everyone well women especially should know about I'll try to get that up later but thanks guys sorry I, I really feel bad I have to drive home and we're pretty far away so I got what do I got here on my forehead who knows I gotta drive I have so much to do. I have no help. I have to. We didn't get the milk yesterday because Polly can't carry a lot. I can't carry anything. And we had nobody to help us. So I got to go back and get milk. And I don't know what. I feel like crap. These people are looking at me like, what is this woman doing? I don't really care who's looking at me to tell you the truth. It doesn't matter. So anyhow, it's just getting worse. I don't know how it can get worse than it is. But thanks everyone. Don't forget to subscribe, like, press the notification button, share sharing is caring. Don't forget to pay it forward. It feels good in your heart. So for now, guys, keep praying. Polly, you got anything to say back there? Bye, guys. <laughs> there he is, Mr. Polly, always smiling. Thank God. The, the nurse there, the whatever assistant, she says, what a nice kid you have. I do. He's such a good kid. Thumbs up for Polly. Okay, guys and girls. Bye. Toodles.